Okay, I've had a few requests to show this uh, digital readout that I put on the tailstock and how I did it. And we're going to run that today. Uh, first thing I have to do is I want to take it apart and show you the different pieces. So I'll take the uh, chuck out first and get that out of the way. I'll just put that up here for now. And I'm going to remove this. This is a... Uh, thing I got off of eBay. They're kind of hard to find with the horizontal readout. You have to search and they sell a lot of them with a wire with a separate readout, but I, I don't see any reason to use that. A friend of mine got one and, and what he found out is he has to make two mounts, one to mount that and one to mount this, and he put it right there anyway. So it's really the one with the wire I don't like. I like it, the readout here, because this is where I'm looking at it when I'm drilling. So it's perfect. So if you look on eBay, you'll find it. I can't remember the exact site, but uh, it is there. This is a six inch digital readout and it's, it has the horizontal screen. There's other ones with the uh, screen to put them, mount them vertically, but this is for mounting horizontally. So we'll take this off and show you all the parts. To loosen up these screws. Now this one here has a tiny shim in it to make it level. But there's the readout. It's just an aluminum block. And it's screwed in from the bottom and it has the proper angle on it. And the proper angle has to be so that this lines up with it and it's flat. It can't be twisted or anything. So what I do is make the block I did, I made the block first, and then I made this piece, put it on there, and drew a line on it so I'd know that I had it exactly in the right place, and then made this top piece for it. I'll take this off. You can see my shim fell out because I made it just a hair too short. And if this isn't straight coming out of there, it doesn't work. So I made this with a notch in it. I would do it the other way if I did it again. I would put the notch facing down and just make that a flat piece because that makes it easier to adjust. The, the main thing is when this is out here and you extend this out, it still has to fit. So this has to be level. And I imagine this is quite flat on mine, but some of them, you know, have a rounded top and so forth. So you might have to do a little work to get this to make up a holder for the the digital readout but just remember this has to go straight out with that otherwise it'll jam you can see that that goes out there just real nice nice and smooth and so I'll take this piece off and show it to you So all this is, is a split ring that I machined out to just exactly fit onto here. And then I put a tightening screw on it down there to tighten it. And then I silver braze this block on here. But you probably don't have to silver braze it. You could just bolt it on with a single bolt. But what I would do is, is mill this so it's flat in there and you're putting in a square block. I made this curve to fit the curve, which is harder to do. It would be easier just to mill a, a square slot in there and put the block into it. And then you can make the block the right height. Once you bolt it down, you can mark it. And uh, I would suggest putting it on here and getting this bolted on and then just put a scribe line underneath it. And you'll know where to mill it to and go down slowly. Cause you can see I've got multiple shims in this. I use the original piece and uh, I missed it. You know, I should have just put the thing on there and marked it, but I somehow milled too much off of it, so I've got some shims in there. Okay, I'll put it back together now and show you the sequence I did it in. I first mounted this, if I can find my Allen wrench. And the top of this tailstock is almost dead flat, so I didn't have to do any shim in there. What I did was 
pulled this in, took a square. And I set this on my bed and read where the end of it was and then extended it out here. And it, it doesn't have to be absolutely within a few thousandths, but within a 32nd of an inch, this, this has a little wobble in it, but it should be pretty flat. And this one here, it's, it's, so, it's so square, it's an unbelievable. So the next part was this, and I went through this before, I told you, is to, I would mill a slot in here, so you have a place to put your square block into, and then mount this on here, and mark the height of it, and then I would take this piece and put it on the other way to clamp it down, because if you have to modify the height this way, it's pretty difficult. The only way I came up with was shims, but if you've milled that, made that thing long, and then put this out to it and marked underneath it, you'd have the exact length it was, would have to be. It would be, let me get this together so you can see. And this, this goes out, you can test it. You can see that's loose in there. There's plenty of play. So I'll put the, uh, the, clock, the top back onto it. See, at the very end, I can feel a tiny bit of a bind, and that's because I didn't put this little tiny shim un in and underneath it. So I'll do that. Now see, it goes right up to the end without any bind at all. And it, that's like 10 thousandths. The only place that's real critical is you get right up to the, the root here, the, the end of the uh, travel. You will have... Uh, a bind if it's not perfect. So I'm going to just tap this back on here and tighten it. And that's it. There we go. Okay. Well, when we watched this video, we realized that there was a simple fix that we could do on this to make it easier to install. Uh, what I had noticed is, is this binds when it comes right up close to here. Well, you have six inches of travel on this, and the tailstock only has four inches of travel, so you've got two inches extra to play with. So the farther you move this back, the, the less alignment problem you will have. It's when it comes right up to the root that it jams. So I would move it back as far as you can and even there's a there's an oil hole here. If you move the, the screw in there and you left a cut out there, you could move it back almost uh, three quarters of an inch. And that would make it much easier to install and it would make it work even better. It'd be less, uh, less critical on where it's mounted. So I'll also give you the uh, the angle of this block. Okay, this block that I made is, is exactly 22 degrees. So if you start out with that and try it, I think you'll be fine. Because this this can be milled a little bit off, you know, a few thousands, it doesn't matter. But uh, if you start with 22 degrees, I think you'll be right on. If you're using this lathe, obviously. You have a different lathe that's different. But I would move it back and cut out the corner here so you can get at that oil fill and uh, still bolt it down. Well, the next video we're gonna make is how I did the gear reduction for this. I uh, have some gears coming and I'm gonna remake it because I'm not really satisfied with the way I did it the first time. So I'll make a couple of improvements on it, but uh, also I changed the wheel. So uh, we'll 
get on that in the next video. Thank you for watching, and if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel. That's what keeps us going. Thank you very much.